Hey guys, this is just a quick video and a quick follow up regarding my OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Hyperland install script, uh, which I posted it nine days ago. Oh, wow, that was nine, nine, day, nine days ago. It was a little bit long. My initial Hyperland for Hyperland install script for OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is there's no NVIDIA support. I'm proud to announce now, or I'm happy to announce now that it's now officially supporting also NVIDIA. Now I cannot test this in desktop because I don't have a desktop NVIDIA, but this is actually what I'm using now. NVIDIA on the effect and then NVIDIA SMI. So you, as you could see here, let me just zoom in that I have now the driver 545529.06 same in here this is a RTX 3080 and if you launch also the NVIDIA settings then this will verify that the NVIDIA driver is also uh, installed and running a couple of things that I wanted to say regarding this installer is this for NVIDIA. Um, the driver that is going to install is, where is that now? I have it here. It's uh, the G06 driver, which I will add the link in here. So if you search uh, NVIDIA, and SUSE, then you got this official uh, site wherein they mention in here which drivers needed to install. So, for example, here, see here, this is for the uh, G06, which is for the GTX 700 series or newer, older one, the 470, you need the G05. 390 and 340 and so on however please do take note that these older drivers may not support Wayland so I'm not so sure because there was one guy before he was asking me he have a GTX 750 Ti and he told me that the new sup new drivers support this so, so if it's a 750 Ti so the G06 driver should work and this is what I'm using now on my laptop. So again, this is, I tested on laptop. This is not how I'm running now. So the procedure will be same. Just go through and of course, uh, if you want to go in detail, I'm not going to install now because this one is already installed. So go and head up. Uh, I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description my initial video on this uh, hyperland on OpenSUSE so I'm just gonna go through quickly now there you go so it will ask to proceed so if you again if you just uh, didn't run an update you need to highly recommend it to update it and reboot and then of course if you're installing on a vm ensure that 3d acceleration is enabled sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so proceed yes and then this is the new one based from my old uh, or my previous video then of course you have nvidia if you have nvidia yes and then uh, gtk teams Yes, Bluetooth, yes, File Manager, yes, Asus Laptop. This is also, uh, I just offered it uh, because I have the ROG Laptop. SDDM, if you want SDDM, of course, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to go through this one now because the procedure is just same as this one. The only addition that I have is, oh, I remember, I remember I put in here also or I mentioned on this video that the SDDM doesn't work I'm proud to announce now that it all work SDDM 
the ROG laptop, and the NVIDIA GPU. Okay, so I'm, I will cancel this. I'm not gonna go through. And just for information, again, that once you finish the installation, it will create these install logs. So as you can see in here, this is now my install logs. So anything which seems wrong uh, or if something went wrong, then you can go through this one. For the NVIDIA, I'd like to go back to NVIDIA again. If you want to change the drivers, then you need to edit the, just kind of zoom in. Then you need to edit the install script and then NVIDIA.sh, so which I'm going to show that now. This is the one I just newly download. So install script and then NVIDIA.sh. And this is the part where video select. And this is the part here where you can change these uh, NVIDIA drivers. Um, as you can see that there was a lot because when I only installed uh, little by little, I cannot get any output from my ex to my external monitor. So that's why when I added this NVIDIA driver, suddenly it works. Okay. So that's just about it. This is just only the an update of my OpenSUSE Hyperland now all GPU now supported. Now before I go, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the uh, my new supporter Lev uh, Rasmussen. So yesterday he just sent me and he said thank you it works well now i don't know which one <laughs> but the structure of my install script is just same for fedora arch debian ubuntu OpenSUSE. they're all same the structure same there's some difference only because debian you need to build it all from source so there's more question there so if you're watching left left i don't i hope i pronounce it wrong, uh, correct left rasmussen good day I know that you are Danish. This sounds like a Danish uh, last name. So thank you very much for supporting. Anyway, guys, this, uh, this is only the message for, for now. I'm planning to create a, another, another video because I have just released the, or yesterday I have released the version, or is that now, 2.1.6. And there are some additional changes in here. Okay, guys, I see you on the next video. Bye.